Look, top of the morning to the kings and queens of Potter, man. I'm back. Y'all already know how this shit go. Back with another one. Most definitely, I think I probably should get some more water. Gotta stay hydrated. Look, hit that like button before we start. Start this one, guy. The candy. Too much candy. Yeah, hit that like button, man. And subscribe if you haven't. But everybody ain't your friend. Everybody is not your friend, and you gotta know this. You got to know that everybody ain't your friend. Everybody don't fuck with you how you think they really is. Gonna fuck with you or hope they really will fuck with you, gang. You got to really pay attention to the shit out here. It's a lot of sneaky shit going on there. Honestly, me, I was prepared to come into the year 2022 with a lot of people that's maybe around me or that I fucks with or people out in the world in general. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, they was able to break free of that negative shell they once was in it. Be able to uplift a uh, spiritual frequency, my nigga, at least by 27 times or such. But a lot of people ain't ready for that. It's still too much negativity going on, gang. And it is. And, you know, it's, it's, it's hitting home now because it makes you think and sit back and wonder, like, damn, is everybody really vibing with me how they say they is? Hell no, nah, nigga. You better believe everybody ain't your friend. They not. They not. Trust me, I'm telling you now, they not up, no, don't fall for it, gang. Because look, a motherfucker ride the coast, a motherfucker ride your wagon for a year or two. Nowadays, they got good with it. Fuck a couple months, they riding your wagon a year or two. You feel me? But within that year or two, before they fully capsule you in on this miraculous plan, you feel me? You got to peep that shit and you got to pay attention, gang. You got to pay attention, peep that shit and recognize it, sense it, vibe it. Whatever it is the fuck you do, pick up on that shit, bro, and pay attention. You know what I'm saying? And always just follow your gut feeling. I say that for a reason. Wink, wink, motherfucker. Follow your gut feeling, bro. You know, because a lot of times, the sign of being your face, and you niggas won't even peep. The devil will be in your face. The demon will be in your face. And you won't beep it. Let me get a water, though. You got to stay hydrated when you smoke. Yeah, gang, you know? <clears throat> and the quicker y'all peep that, the quicker you can latch on to the real shit and the fake shit around you in life and you can start paying attention and noticing, like, yo, this ain't that, that ain't this. A lot of motherfuckers out here want you to believe that this is that and that is this. It ain't. It ain't. <clears throat> Definitely if it ain't for, you know, what you what you set out for it meant to be. Fuck what they talking about. It ain't that. No, it's not that. That's how you tell them. No, bitch, it ain't that. It ain't. No, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. Everybody ain't your friend. A lot of motherfuckers be out here to get you. And like I said, you got to be able to peep that. I'm trying to fix this table, man. When I'm spending this such. Kids left all the type of work on this. Fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Give a nigga guy. At the end of the day, though, man, I be like, man, shit. And then, you know, nowadays, motherfuckers will do some bold shit. It's a lot of motherfuckers around you will do some bold shit, gang. And you be, you be sitting there peeping like, damn, what the... I can't believe this motherfucker grew the nuts for that. They grew the balls for that, literally. Yeah. They really did, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and them same motherfuckers who ain't your friend that be the haters. They got to stick close so they can always have something to hate on. Something to know about you. They always, they got to stick close to you. See, me, I'm going to be totally real with you motherfuckers. 
That's why I don't fuck with nobody. Nigga, you ain't finna know shit about me. You ain't finna know what type of tissue we got in the crib. You ain't finna know what type of napkin the nigga use. You ain't finna know a restaurant I go to, what type of burgers, what type of um, uh, sauces I like on my, my ribs or if I like it on the, none of that shit. None of the intricate of shit. You only know what I'm gonna tell you. Simple. And I'm going to have to tell you a couple fibs to keep you thrown off just in case you do got a hidden agenda. Some of y'all got to think like that. For real. Some of y'all got to think like that, dog. Stop stop putting so much trust in everything and everybody. And Lord, Jesus, I, this, and this shit real out here. It's really real out here in the streets, nigga. Real. And a lot of motherfuckers that you know right now today don't even tell you this and you know they've been through it. You know they done seen the, the worstest of the worst. How many of y'all know that, though, dog? Some of the motherfuckers you know right now you be popping it with, they seen the worst of the worst, nigga. You better believe that the, at any given moment they could have gave you the game. They could have gave you the knowledge on how to keep your dumb ass from getting knocked or popped or dropped or however you want to call it. Another thing is the fucking hip-hop world. Like, come on, man. Like, that's a different story. I can start a different, I can start a different levels, you know what I'm saying, but strictly, you know, to the fact of the matter that everybody ain't fucking with you like they say they is, everybody ain't your friend, don't go out of town thinking you got them friends out there, boy, or girl, gal, as they say, don't go out there thinking these motherfuckers your buddy, <coughs> it ain't like that. It ain't like that for real. Stop showing your hand every time, too. A lot of you niggas get played in the showing your hand. When you show that hand, they got you. They met at you, nigga. They met at you. And you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're going to live to see it or not. But at the end of the day, who want to be in between that rock and that hard spot of whether or not they're going to live to see it or not? No, nobody. Shit, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be. Why would you? Nigga, you should want to live. Come on, gang. I'm telling you. Come on, down. You know, a lot of you motherfuckers be, y'all kill me with that, gang. At the end of the day, me personally, man, I already know. I could look at a motherfucker and peep. Everybody ain't my homie. Everybody ain't my road dog. Hey, look, nowadays, y'all still got some niggas you used to fuck with, maybe. And you ain't fuck with them in a while. And now, you know, a motherfucker come around like the shit all good. Like, it's... No, gang, we not doing that. Just because, you know what I'm saying, I, I I knew you since you ain't hot. I don't mean you ain't changed. I ain't been fucking with you in like 10 years, 12 years. I ain't seen you 10, 12 years. Your whole mentality can be different. Something could happen to you to where you don't trust nobody now. And y'all got to think like that out here. <clears throat> Some of y'all don't. Y'all don't. Put it to yourself like that. Think like that. Pay attention, gang. Really do. Really do. I be feeling bad, like, for niggas out there. I really don't, I'm just saying. I be, I mean, I be, I be feeling bad, though, because some people really ain't got the mind state like I got. Some people ain't woke up yet. Hey, um, shout out to my nigga Rashad Jamal, dog. Gang, shout out. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, though, uh, y'all got to be woke. Your mind got to be woke. Y'all niggas ain't woke up. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, Rashad Jamal, dog, that boy, he be dropping that knowledge, that juice. And I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker got to say about King. That nigga, man, look, we all kings, and he put us on, and he wake a nigga up. He also let a nigga know that, you know, you can feel a vibe. That's how you, look, when you feel the energy of a motherfucker, you already know they not your friend. They not your buddy. They ain't your partner. You can feel it. It's a gut feeling, too, you get. But see, like I said before in the video, your mind start to manipulate that gut feeling, and your mind started to tell you, nah, they cool, they good, and you can't let your mind play tricks on you, like that song, you, you feel me, everything come out and happen for a reason, for real, <laughs> you know, like I said though, but dog be dropping jewels on, on, on how people need to wake up, and, and like I said, knowing that everybody ain't your friend, my nigga, that's a big part of waking up, because people gullible out here nowadays, people easy to be tricked, people easy like, easy to be tricked. You feel me? Motherfucker fall into anything. I'm talking about for the right price, they goofy. And they goers. They dumb. They send-offs. 
And one thing about me is I don't like people around me to be like that, my nigga. None of my people, I always try to put everybody I'm with or everybody I, you know, fucks with or tapped in with. I, I try to keep them on some some type of knowledge, some type of intelligence shit. I don't want to. I don't want nobody dumbed around me, gang. And the thing is, they dumb us down a lot out here. They do from the TV shows to the food to the water, the drugs people taking the prescribed drugs, and it's sad, gang, because our culture don't see it. We could be big as hell. We could be an empire ourselves, you know. We can. We just got to think like that all at once. We got to be all on the same accord. But until that day, you know, everybody got their own destiny. Everybody got their own destiny. Everybody got their own plan where they want to hit and where they hit it. But I can tell you one thing. It ain't God's plan. It ain't God's plan. And if it ain't the Lord's plan, gang, you might not make it there. Actually, it's a 99% chance you ain't going to make it there. That's real shit. So, you know, and once you tell a motherfucker that he'll start recognizing some shit he don't like about you just because you hit him with some truth in the gut. And that's why I say everybody ain't your buddy, everybody ain't your friend or your partner. So you got to be smooth and be intricate on the shit you let a motherfucker know. Be delicate with your information. Be delicate with yourself. Treat yourself worthy as you are, king or queen, whoever you is out there. Treat your motherfucking self worthy as you are and that you are a king or that you are a queen. Gang, simple as that, you know. I ain't gonna hold y'all up too much longer, you know. I love you niggas. Without y'all, I wouldn't be me, gang. Make sure y'all stay dangerous out there. Y'all already know how we rocking, man. Until the next video, man. And the next class session, Cardinal Slaughter is out.